Hey there guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be reviewing, no, I'm not reviewing, I'm putting up a list once again, my favorite thing to do in of late. Uh, because, you know, lists are fun, people like them, so many fragrances in one video and whatnot. So this is a requested video by one of my dear brothers, Swal Yurbai. He's a big support in the community, such a genuine, nice heart, like a good-hearted person. So whenever he requests me to do something, I usually tend to do it. So he requests me, brother, could you put up your top favorite, most complimented summer fragrances? But I am kind of in a sort of like a scenario that it's, uh, uh, I can't really put up my new fragrances because I'll be honest, I don't want to lie. Uh, recent times, last two years in COVID, you know, we cannot really go out and people are wearing masks. You know, situation is not the same anymore. So I can't really say that some of the latest fragrance that I have, I showed, I reviewed recent times. These are my most complimented. I cannot count them in the numbers, but I remember like from past, like the last few, five, six years, I can show you some, but the latest one I can only do end of 2021 summer, like summer end of like say September, October. You know, that time I might put what I really got compliments, you know, from the latest perfumes like Guerlain Lomi Dial Cologne or something like Bout Jour, but Today I'm going to show you 15 of my most complimented perfumes. These are not my best summer fragrances. These are not the current releases, but uh, I can I don't even know how many exactly combine. I don't write down like, hey, compliment. You did you compliment me? No, I don't do that. But I remember like these are more and more or less my favorite compliment garner fragrance for summer. You can try them. They are not necessarily always uh, my favorite. So that's your favorite too. These are my fragrance that got me notice and comments. Okay, so here we go. No honorable mention. First fragrance, 212. NYC men or two on two men. This is a 200 ml massive bottle. Uh, this fragrance has very nice uh, magnetic cap and this is a classic. Everybody in the game for some time they know this is so good. This is basically green, grassy, peppery kind of perfume. Very good performer despite the reformulation all that. I get excellent longevity from it. Projection it really throws out. High heat, such a strong masculine fragrance and especially if you are in your teenage years, school, college, this is a fragrance. It's not sweet, it's not citrusy, but it has a lot of grassy, peppery, masculine touch. So I get asked, you know, like, what are you wearing? It smells like a very high class body spray. You know, people say that. So it's an upgrade from body sprays. Such a good performer. Summertime, this really gets me compliments. 2 1 to men or 2 1 to NYC. Men by Carolina Herrera. Number 14, Jean Paul Gaultier. Uh, I love Gaultier, Popeye All Fresh. You can get Superman, you can get the Andre edition. I have all three, but uh, they're all the same. More or less, it's like difference, like five percent here and there. So this one feels uh, features aldehydes, mint, sweetness, kind of like a summery vibe, you know, sweet slash as fresh, kind of very very good performer. Even if you're wearing a mask, people can like if people are wearing masks, they can smell this, you know, through the mask, two three masks. So basically, people do. Let's say I'm going to meet a brother uh, in the summer days, like when it's really hot and humid. I'm wearing this. It's a bit overbearing, but people ask you like, what are you wearing? It smells really projecting a lot. So number 14 is Popeye Offred by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So number 13, I'm going to go quickly today. I'm going to finish it quickly because I have 15 fragrances. Uh, number 13, 14, yeah, number 13 is Dolce & Gabbana, the 180. People say, I understand, hear this. People say this is not the beast mode performer. This one is really disappointing, disappears quickly. But lucky me, this perfume has been with me like for six years plus. I have a small 50 ml and this is my second bottle. Whenever I wear this, I literally have to take a shower to get it off my skin because it does last that long. On shirt and skin combined, it's a beast on me. So I suggest you try this perfume. Don't just read reviews, you know, like the EDT, it's really bright, sort of like it's orangey. I, I'll tell you, it does feel a bit orangey, grapefruit-like, amber, spices, it got that tobacco and the ginger. This fragrance is just a lovely fragrance and this is a compliment piece from women. So if you want to get positive attention from women, try this. Dolce & Gabbana 1 EDT, one of my most favorite and complimented fragrances. Number 12, Polo Blue. This is a summer bliss. You know, this is an oldie. Many people find it like a little bit, uh, let's say, dated. I would not say so. The EDT, the most bright. It projects like nobody's business. Uh, longevity, it's like around average, okay? but. I got compliments from this from nurse, like ladies, doctors, people who do not like overly strong fragrances, like inoffensive perfume they like for summer, uh, like a sunny day, blue skies. This is a fragrance you can easily rock six, seven sprays. People will compliment you. Such a good uh, compliment garner fragrance. Polo Blue EDT. Number 11, Cartier Roadster. This is a genuine masterpiece. This is one of my favorites from the whole line. I do get compliments because this is a long-lasting perfume. This is beast mode. 
this one and the sport version both got discontinued if you can find it somewhere mint patchouli and vanilla this three trust me they work they do work they are like literally look at that bottle it's an amazing bottle it can be had for very good prices in 50 for 55 dollars but uh, this is a masterpiece for me you know at least from a cartier house for summer try it out cartier roadster number 11 a lot of compliments with this okay top 10 and you'll be a little bit shocked as i go to a tour number one some of the entries may shock you okay number 10 i think let me just do a final count i could be wrong one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we have ten number 10 thomas's favorite burberry's touch this perfume i love it my mom loves it my dad loves it everybody my brother-in-law loves it we all have one bottle fresh clean a little bit mild peppery bay powder like last the whole day it's just so beautiful it's like inoffensive soft yet projecting all day you know imagine that fresh out of the shower fresh laundry you know like prada amber pour on this one a lot of these perfumes have this similar vibe you know prada Lom. but this perfume is such a baby you know such a beautiful baby you know like i call this the babe you know so this is like inoffensive very beautiful cap and long lasting summer gem burberry's touch for men this is number 10 Number nine, Aqua Digio Profumo. You would imagine like why this is number nine. You know, you'll be complaining. I will tell you one thing. This sometimes does project a lot when in the first two, three hours. After that, it goes close to the skin. But as long as you're wearing it, <clears throat> it gets more compliments than Essenza Aqua Digio Original, at least for me. So the most, let's say the Abs uh, Absolu and other ones, you know, like even Profondo, Profondo I didn't get to wear so much. This one in general, <clears throat> sorry. Whenever I wore it, people actually genuinely ask me, sometimes people ask me, are you wearing Aqua Digio? I'm like, yeah. So it has a little bit of uh, incense or some spicy touch. It's just a little bit tad more masculine than the OG. But Aqua Digio Profimo gets you compliments. Number nine. Number eight, similar fragrance. And I, this is like coincidence. I did not plan this. This is Aqua Amara by Bulgari. This, I'll just mark uh, this uh, saying of mine. Uh, this is discontinued, but still being sold. In many places after like say this uh, this year ends like let's say somewhere november december this fragrance is gonna get kind of rare and the prices are going slowly higher you know at one point this used to be 35 bucks then 45 now it's 55 65 at one point it will go over 100 if you really love this fragrance stock up this one features that orange similar to aqua Digio perfume in many ways but that orange note is very very unique orange and incense kind of like this has this unique touch to it i know uh, this fragrance, there's nothing that smells like it. I get kind of like a sugar apple sort of vibe from it. I have to get a backup bottle. Amazing, amazing fragrance. Bulgari, Aqua, Amara, one of my most complimented fragrance in Malaysia and Bangladesh combined. <clears throat> Number seven, Prada Long. Easy, non-complicated, fresh, clean, inoffensive. Uh, does last a long time, but it's close to the skin, like close to you. But when people come near you, like you're sitting, having a conversation one-on-one -on -one in a closed room or the AC is blowing, this fragrance, especially ladies and people who are not into perfume that much, they are basically nice average people, like, you know, they're everyday people. They will compliment you. If they are not a snob, brand snob, they'll compliment you on this one. This now is affordable. One of the best Prada released, easy to wear, a dumb rich, you know, like any occasion, summer, you can smell absolutely fantastic. You can play tennis, you can go do the shopping, you can go for a walk with a dog and whatnot. Prada Lom is good for any occasion. Inoffensive iris, beautiful, beautiful perfume from House of Prada. Prada Lom. Just give me a second. Let me drink some water. All right, we are good. Thanks to some of the juice that we have in Bangladesh, Tropicana. Okay. So, number six. This is a perfume I love. This is one of my most favorite Crete fragrances of all time. I get mad compliments. At times, I got some complaints too because of that coconut note. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is virgin island water this is a og 120 ml bottle uh, but the very first batches i believe used to have the whole thing as blue okay but virgin water the rum no not rum a pina colada you know like coconut rum booze very sweet very strong high heat it's a beast you know that kind of a fragrance man this one if you're not a fan of coconut you're not gonna like it if you do not like lime you're not gonna like it if you do not like pina colada is what uh, coconut rum those kind of things right here so if you do not like boozy perfumes, not gonna like it. It can be headache inducing, but if you like it loud, if you like to smell like you are drunk, just came out of the bar in a party mode, you know, in the Hawaii, this is a fragrance I highly recommend. This one gets comments from people, you know, like 
your fragrance is so strong did you put coconut oil in your head and that's not a compliment but people do notice but i got compliments from again ladies they love this this has that unisex vibe and if you like kind of like a island tropical paradise you can definitely try it virgin water by creed but this is not in my top five let me show you my top five number five my classic most favorite signature scent versace purum versace signature either one not the 2004 or those vintage formulation this is a newer formulation like 2017 18 you know but you can go absolutely crazy with this prayer it's gonna have no effect you know nobody's gonna hate you nobody's gonna complain but if you want those compliments people just love the smell of it floral aquatic ozonic citrusy you know like all those things are happening the neroli man this is a fragrance you know it's, it's always gonna be a classic it will never go out of style that's what i feel uh, you can get alirum sport uh, that's a good creamier version but more expensive but this one does full compliments in the first two to three hours okay versace purum such an amazing perfume must have for any collector number five number four we have two aventus like fragrances this is one of them but it's in my humble opinion better than aventus this is cedrat boise or cedrat bois okay by mancera niche house affordable house uh, nice looking juice and bottle 120 ml this perfume literally i compliment people when they wear this i can detect this smells like different than aventus or some of the similar style perfume this woody uh, kind of like citrusy lemon you know like a candied sort of lemon kind of like apple vibe and then the woody wood seed dry down okay so this perfume is just can be worn all year round but in the summertime such a beautiful beautiful fruity juicy perfume i compliment people when they wear this and people compliment me when i wear it so all this fragrance i wore for a very long time this is one of the strongest in the whole summer lineup okay said that was by mancera okay here is some shocking part number three is one of my most complimented perfumes you know i'm going by ranking but this is a cheapy you know you can have this the modern formulation i have vintage here you can use the modern formulation 20 25 bucks and this perfume such a good performer simple elegant basic aquatic salty green sort of like a deep sea but it gets common from everybody you know if you go to a shop people who are not even educated they tell you you smell nice this is nautica's voyage you know this is one of my most complimented perfumes of summer you know i would not say this is my most favorite if i did like my most favorite summer perfume this may not be in the list you know because it's very simple i have much better i have fragrances like me face to gentleman which is not featured today because it's a new one but if you talk about most favorite complimented fragrance nautica voyage is definitely has its place okay you should definitely try this bottle it's inexpensive it's long lasting you wouldn't hurt in your pockets okay nautica voyage number three number two the last and uh, last of them all aventus like perfume it's not aventus aventus did not get me that many compliments in summer this one did club dino intense man i'm sorry i'm showing you the non-alcoholic version but i'm referring to cd name you know club dino intense man it can be edp edt the perfume special edition either one uh, this one is a newer version non-alcoholic but i would suggest go with edp or edt or perfume or special edition those are really fantastic beast mode you have this on the shirt sometimes you don't smell it you know this dry down you know it's like a i would say cedrat boise is a much better perfume but compared to cedrat boise this fragrance got me more compliments you know in general uh sydney my dad wore it i wore it number of years every time i smell this you know on someone who passes by in bangladesh very common now i just want to say that you smell nice respect you know it doesn't matter price tag and whatnot this gets more compliments than aventus yeah that's the truth okay being a clone so yeah sydney is number two so what is number one my number one fragrance for summer that got me most compliments this perfume not only in summer in winter time got me the most number of compliments until this you know like sixth year of my journey you know it's very easy it's the most boring perfume here it's the most common perfume here is the most top sold at this moment this is Dior Sauvage okay it's not Bleu de Chanel Bleu de Chanel EDP beautiful in winter time it's the most complimented one in winter but Sauvage in winter in summer in between the you know the two season this perfume also works fantastic any occasion any you know whatever occasion whatever time of the day daytime night time you can spray Sauvage on you are just good to go even if you do not get the best compliments but people may say that you smell nice and uh, really really perfume is really projecting beautifully okay so this fragrance has very low weakness okay and it has 
little bit higher price tag but it's worth the money for me okay most complimented is dior savage edt thanks very much for watching guys thanks while you buy for your suggestion do let me know what are your most favorite uh, most complimented perfumes for summer i'm pretty sure it's gonna be some interesting ones you know it can be niche designer do let others know all right thanks very much for watching i think i'll sign off for the night bye bye